solar eclipse and how scientists predicted the longest blackout in 5,000 years will occur. Callum Horks Test UK reports this is uh, timely because of the fact that in a couple of hours we're going to have a total eclipse of the sun. The longest solar eclipse in 5,000 years is set to plunge the earth into darkness for a staggering amount of time. This was revealed during a documentary with scientist Brian Cox. The solar eclipse is a rare phenomenon which occurs when the earth passes through the shadow cast by the moon and either partly or fully blocks the sun. The latter will occur tomorrow in parts of Chile and Argentina when sky watchers will be treated to complete darkness for just a few seconds. But there will be another total solar eclipse, total solar eclipse in the future that we can expect to leave us in the dark for a lot longer than usual. Dr. Brian Cox reveals during the filming of his 2010 series of wonders of the solar system how scientists made this prediction. Uh, the physicist who was in India at the time said science, science is different to all the other belief systems in this city, he says, because you don't need faith in it, you can check that it works. So for example, I can tell you that tomorrow morning at precisely 6.24 a.m., the moon will cover the face of the sun and there will be a total solar eclipse. I can tell you that in 2904, there will be five solar eclipses on the Earth and I could tell you that on July 1st, 2186, there will be the longest solar eclipse for 5,000 years that will last seven minutes. Total eclipses are rare because the timing of the moon within the eclipse season needs to be more exact for an alignment between the observer on Earth and the center of both the sun and the moon. Also, the ecliptical orbit of the moon often takes it far away, away enough from the Earth that its apparent size is not large enough to block the Sun entirely. The revelation comes after Dr. Cox revealed Saturn's moon could be hiding alien life during his new docu documentary called The Planets. In 2005, NASA's Cassini probe came within 30 miles of the surface of Enceladus, discovering water-rich plumes venting from the South Polar region. Scientists found cryovolcanoes shooting geyser-like jets of water vapor, molecular hydrogen, and other volatiles, and solid material including sodium chloride crystals and ice particles into space. Brian Cox reveals why this find stunned scientists. He said earlier this month, Cassini has given us a glimpse beneath the ice of Enceladus, and it is genuinely fascinating in a scientific sense because many biologists believe that hydrothermal vents like those are almost certainly present on the floor of Enceladus and they were the cradle for life on Earth. All the ingredients are present, there's hot water in touch with ice and minerals, that's a reactive cauldron of chemistry. There are reactive gases, methane, and Cassini found molecular hydrogen in the plumes and that was one of the food sources of primitive organisms on Earth. So there really is a possibility there is life in orbit around Saturn today, he says. So tomorrow, anyone on the west coast towards uh, Mexico and then down east Chile, Argentina, you'll be able to watch the total eclipse of the sun, which will last about three and a half, four minutes. So you're lucky enough to see it if you're there, if you want to see it. It would also be aired, aired live. And also, I would like to leave a link for one of the new children's channels for toddlers called Toy Discoveries. It's a YouTube channel and uh, it's nice. It's only got a couple of videos on it, but uh, they'll be on every few days. And it's my daughter-in-law's and I hope you like it. Thank you so much. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events. 
events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you. Thank you.